Hey guys, Doug here. This is my uh, buddy Daryl. On uh, doing my introduction, basically at the end of our trip, but I thought it'd be a good time to say what this is about. Uh, this is a, a recreation of was it seven years ago? At least seven year ago uh, trip, the same trip, and uh, back then uh, we didn't have uh, ATVs and whatnot, and we carried this this tin boat and the motor and gas cans and all our gear a kilometer to the uh, to the lake rough trail very rough trail so uh, times have changed but uh, so that's what this trip's about we're out here uh, bass fishing and uh, walleye fishing and having a good time so like I said this is not uh, this is not the solitude canoe hiking adventure this is three days in a tin boat so hope you like the vid One week ago I was carrying a canoe for 38 kilometers over my head and this weekend's the total opposite. This is a luxury weekend. Not even the weekend, it's Sunday. Stay until Tuesday. This is a tin boat trip. I haven't done this for years. This is the, probably fished like this for 20 years in the past and uh, switched over to non powered, but it's good to get back and to hang out with the buddy again. Haven't packed in such luxury in 10 years. Look at all the stuff we got here. Just getting the uh, four wheeler squared away and uh, we're off. So. It's gonna be good. Nice and relaxed, no high pressure, just uh, camping. Hanging out camp for a few days. It's seven o'clock at night. It's uh, We just dropped a oak tree for firewood, threw all our gear on shore. We haven't set up camp, but we wanna catch a couple fish because we're eating fish. And this is my buddy, Daryl. Say hi, Daryl. Hi, Doc. So, we're going to do some quick fishing. It's going to be dark probably within the hour, so we just want to get out and catch fish for supper. We can set up camp in the dark any day. Ooh, it's a jumper. Look at that. That's a good bass, but maybe a little bit too big for supper tonight. We'll let him go. First one's too big, this one's too small. We need one that's just right. Wow, another nice bass. That's supper? Yep. That's supper. One for supper. Oh, that's a nice one, man. That's a good healthy bass. I betcha. Wow. Nice. Too big for supper? Too big for supper. Too big for supper. Well, we just caught uh, six or seven bass and uh, it's starting to get dust, so a couple more casts here and then we're going to go for the night uh, walleye bite, perhaps. See how we can make out. Kept one bass for supper, for backup, but walleye would be nice. Nice. Another walleye. Decent eater. Beauty. Right in the boot. We're eating tonight. Alright, so we got two wallies, so uh, Mr. Bass goes free. Lucky day. Free. He's free. Well, here we are sitting out here on the beautiful calm lake. You can see the sun's gone, long gone, and uh, we've got uh, about six six walleye or pickerel on the on the chain, and uh, we're just about done. But we have done nothing but cut a 
a tree down for firewood and our camp is not <laughs> set in any way shape or form but this is just too fun it's too beautiful still in our shorts and t-shirt we're in a heat wave again and unfortunately it's right at this point where I hit the mic cord and I, we lose sound for a, a, few, a minute or so so I'm just going to walk you through this part here this is the uh, six uh, nice size eater walleyes that we uh, we kept, and this is my uh, flaying here. I just did the first cut along the gills there down. I'm just following the backbone here. I had done a full a full tutorial on all this, but I've cut all this short. It was going to be a nice uh, catch and cook type uh, dinner, but uh, we've lost the sound, so I'll just walk you through. Right at the as I cut down there, when I got about to the the arse, I stick the knife right through to the bottom, and then follow the back out to the tail. Now I'm just uh, running my knife down on along the rib cage. When you do that, you can hear a little tick, 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 tick on your knife, and uh, you just cut along the ribs, keeping as much meat as you can, and then slowly cutting down and around the stomach, basically right until you get to the bottom where there's no more meat. You just keep cutting it down, cutting it down, and then you'll just uh, once you get to the bottom, you just stick your knife in and just cut it right off, like so. And now you just take your fingernail, put it at the very base of the uh, skin, and hold it down. And then when you got something to grab, you just kind of grab it and kind of pull, pull and push with your knife, and you take the flay right off the skin. So that's the flay. We got a whole whack of nice meat that night. Cutting up some potatoes. We're doing a hobo tinfoil dinner with onions and and butter and some uh, pepper pepper spices. And we just put it on the tin foil there, and we're just going to fold it up. Fold it up real good. Make sure you got a double fold so that the butter doesn't leak out. And then uh, just wrap them up and uh, ready for the fire. They take a while, so you want to get them on in, in a good time. I've got the oil on as I'm doing this already on the fire. And I like to test the oil with a drop of water, but we'll get to that later. This is a Clubhouse English style. Uh, fish and chip batter which is just fantastic makes for a nice uh, fluffy uh, fish and chip batter add some water and just mix it up you want to pat dry your fillets before you dip them in so you don't add any more water you just want that uh, that batter mixed enough that it will stick nicely to the fish and uh, you should be good to go so there's the oil on I'm just dipping the fish and uh, we're going and I think it's, uh, if not now, very soon where we regain the sound. That zebra pot in the back there is full of uh, brown beans also. So there is it boiling and uh, I think we're going to get our sound back shortly. Look at that. You think you might like that? I think I can eat that. Beautiful. These aren't ready. Let's look at Daryl's plate here. Look at that. Beans and potatoes and onions and fish. You happy? Happy. All right, my turn. All right, time to eat. I got a boo-boo on my nose. I told you, that's where you cut it. Yeah. Oh well, still gonna eat. Good? Mmm. Alright, it's uh, pushing midnight. My belly's stuffed and I'm done for the day. A little bit uh, stuffed up too. So, off to bed. I'll catch up with you in the morning, but still, uh, Shorts and t-shirt weather. The weather forecast for the next three days is hot again for the end of September. So that's an interesting time. But I'll take it. Morning.
Time to get some coffee on. English muffins toasting. You got an English theme? I do. Morning. Morning. Toasted peanut butter and jam English muffins. Nice. It's another uh, another beautiful morning here on Secret Lake. People uh, always ask me where I am, but this was uh, this was a gift to me from a buddy, and uh, it's the Fisherman's Code. Sometimes you just have to have a place like this to be uh, your own private little paradise. And if it gets too run over with people, then uh, then it's gone. So it's gonna be a hot day today. Looking forward to it. Time to go fishing. Okay, we're in another lake. You want the first cast? Go for it. You deserve it. All right. I gotta keep this between my legs. First cast. Nobody home. First cast, Daryl. No? Fish on, fish off. Alright. I'm so disappointed. I got two casts. <laughs> Spoiled brat, eh? No cast and no fish. What are we gonna do? Oh. There's a fish. Oh! Off! I took it. Okay. Oh! Took it again right there at the boat. Okay. Third cast for the fish. There it is. Fish on. Just a little baby. Okay, we're both on the board. We're gonna keep a uh, a running count today. And the goal is it's big, big 50, goal. fifty. Fifty each. Hundred fish. Boat total hundred. Boat total hundred. Okay. Well, that's what I get. That's what Daryl gets. He's just killing it. We're just uh, still in the same corner we put in on, and the boat count is at like uh, 16. Yeah, I got 13. Yeah, I got three. He's killing me. I've been fooling around too much. So, time to catch up. Oh, we're making some progress. <laughs> Did I tell you I'm sick? Yeah, I'm sick. That's a nice one here. That's 11. I'm getting killed by Daryl. What do you got? 26. 26 to 11. Wacky worm just goes in and sinks. <laughs> Bam! Just like that. That's a little tiny fella.
got an o-ring on this time after losing far too many in the last trip so. here again Neil's got one the little guys in this corner there we go not, yeah, he's a little. A little again. Well, update. I'm getting killed. 5-0. 5-0 to 31. 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's pretty good. What a place. Now the word of a lie, I think you just caught about 14 fish in a row. Hey? Eh? Yes. That Crazy. was insane. While I was tying on my hook, you probably caught four at least. Yeah. Just tying on a hook. This guy's on fire. Just sent uh, Daryl off fishing and kept one little bass here to uh, you know, clean her up and have a bit of a shore, shore lunch. Just fish really, but uh, get some protein in our bellies. I've got the uh, Kelly kettle going in uh, hobo gear, hobo way up there with the thing. But I want to uh, fill this up for coffee. But what I don't want to do Normally I would just take a pot out of the lake, but I don't want all the any debris and whatever to boil and get stuck inside the Kelly kettle. So I'm just going to put filtered water in the kettle, which is not a stupid idea. And then we'll use the uh, the base of the kettle with the hobo attachment to uh, fry up the fish. With the uh, I think I got the heavy cover titanium fry pan. It's gonna be good. Perch and bass now. So I mean, about the flow of this uh, filter system, like that's impressive. What do you got, man? How about a perch? Shore lunch. That is beautiful. Isn't that a nice perch? That's that's amazing. Let's eat it. Okay. All right. That's a good looking perch. Besides that. See here, this is the uh, the base of the Kelly kettle with the hobo stove attachment. So it's gonna be a good little uh, spot to cook up some fishes. Remember, our oil's ready when we get the little drop of water to, to pop. Okay, time to start. I get a lot of uh, questions about uh, twig stoves, and uh, I use a bush buddy a lot, but uh, I have dozens of them. So I think uh, future videos, I'll uh, I'll give you the pros and cons of the twig stoves that I have and uh, some others that I have had but like now I'm using this Kelly Kettle base and it's working great. I am uh, I'm a big fan of the Bush Buddy for like uh, long distance type stuff and I'll tell you why in the video that I do but uh, I like them all and there's pros and cons to all of them including the Bush Buddy so I'll do a video uh, in the future about uh, twig stoves.
That was your first piece. Oh, that was great. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. So I'm going to take that off of there. Put the kettle on for coffee. Cork it. And start filling the sticks from the top. Happy? Kranzi be proud of us. Yes. Shore lunch. No, we didn't have the baked beans though. Ah, huh, wow. Well. All right, we're all fed up. Back on the water. How many are you at? I'm at 82. Yeah, let's see. I got like 62. So I'm, uh, I'm the big loser today. And that's okay. This is the little uh, O-ring we use to keep the, the worms on. We talked about it in the last video, but lots of people told me I should be using them, and I used to always use them. I just didn't use them on that last trip, so... I just put on a pair of little needle nose pliers like that, open her up. You can buy these as a kit and uh, they come with a little tool to put them on, but basically that's it. So you got your little ring on your worm, a little o ring, and then you just hook that underneath and you'll save many, many a worm. Well, mark your moment. Number 100. You can't do that too many places. Can't do that anywhere. 100 bass for Daryl. Then maybe we can go back to camp now? Let's go back to camp. Now we can go back to camp. I didn't get 100. I might have got 75, 70. Well, you were filming. I was making them lunch and filming and chasing butterflies. For anyone who thinks that uh, I have a fishing problem, look at this guy. He's sitting in the boat waiting on, for me. Dog. Dang it. We got back to camp, jumped in the lake. 20 minutes max. It's 6 o'clock. He wants to get the, the night walleye bite. He's waiting for me. Look at that sky. What a beauty night. Well, we got uh, four on the stringer. Yep. Four on the stringer, and uh, just getting warmed up. But look at the sky. Well, we're just about ready to head back to camp and uh, get a fire going and clean some fish. But tonight is steak night. We got steak and potatoes to eat. So time to head back. All right, back at camp. Got uh, five walleyes to, to clean up. Daryl's gonna work on the fire. We've got uh, steak tonight though for supper. So these guys are gonna go in our cooler and they're gonna come home with us for a feast for our families. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to steak. That's two big hunks of meat. We've opted out of the, uh, the fixings. <laughs> it's a steak, just a steak <laughs> night. Oh. And Daryl's the steak cooker. Just gotta get some coals going here. Fantastic steak. You liking yours? That is the best steak I've ever had. It's so good. Well, it is 9.30. I'm just going to hang out with the fire for a little bit longer and uh, 
call her a night. So we'll see you guys in the morning. That was a big day. It was a big day. Old hundred fish man here. Best part of the day? The steak. The steak. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna have to agree. I'm gonna eat mine now. Good night. It's morning. Get some water on for a boil. Some coffee. I'm uh I'm sick. I had a really rough night. It's a little bronchial. But this is our last day today. I'm gonna do some fishing and uh packing up camp and some driving, but uh we'll be doing a lot of fishing before uh before we call our day, so good morning. Back on the water. Oh, is that bad, eh? Not bad at all. Yeah, another nice bass. Nice overcast. Sun might be coming back again, though. Yeah. It's getting a little blotchy over there. We have had ridiculous weather. <laughs> ridiculous. This is September 25th. Yeah. It was easily 31 degrees yesterday. Crazy weather. Oh. It's not bad. Beauty fish. The scrapper, that one. Nice bass. Fast. Let me cut my O-ring. Lost my worm. Look at that. We're just giving you a taste. We've just been catching them like crazy, but it's such a hot spot here. It's 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 ridiculous, really. Ridiculous. Fishing is fantastic. The sun's out. It's bright. Oh. Just about got my uh, knocked it off my. That's a beauty. Well, all good things must come to an end. So this time is to pack it. up. Time to pack up our camp and take off. We had a good day fishing. Didn't show too much. Didn't want to be too repetitive again. But uh, it's over. So, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, until the next adventure, see you later.